Hello everyone, and welcome back to another installment of Wolin Design Group's presented DaVinci Unified Training Videos. Today we'll be talking about handling lock codes and sublock codes for paper-based receiving. For today's lesson, we'll teach you how to enable your accounts for lock codes and sublock codes, and how to manage those lock codes and sublock codes, as well as view them later. Before we continue, be sure to have checked out these previous videos to help as we glide through some of these topics in this lesson. Alright, so in order to see lot codes, we have to enable them in the account. So we navigate to accounts and then select the desired account. And from there we select inventory, where you will find the track lot codes and track sub lot codes checkbox. Be sure to have this checked in order to proceed with the lesson. Now that we've enabled them, it's time to show you how this comes into play during paper-based receiving. So we will navigate to our receiving orders and either select a previous order or create a new one and move to line entries, add or edit a line item, and appearing underneath the item code will be the lot code and sublot code dialog box. Now a lot code and sublot codes are an alpha numeric value. Enter the values in a dialog box and save. Notice how they are displayed here now. Now once we've changed the status to received and saved, we can take a look in item inventory where we can see the lock codes and sublock codes displayed in the inventory detail. That's all the time we have today in our lesson in handling lot codes and sublot codes for paper-based receiving. Be sure to check back with us for more videos on how to use DaVinci Unified. And if you have further questions or would like to set up a training session, feel free to contact our support. Or check out our detailed documentation online. Thanks for watching.